Hi everyone. My name is Miss Chemistry. Dr. McClive asked me to help him give you a few pointers converting moles to atoms. He suggested working out how many atoms were in 5 moles of water. Any ideas? Where do we start? Let's see if we can draw it. First of all, by water we mean water molecules, or H2O. So, let's draw one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. I'll color them in to tell them apart. With the red oxygen and blue and green hydrogens. This is one molecule of water. A mole of water is a large group of molecules, but before we get to large groups we'll start with small groups of just two. Here's one small group of water molecules. How many small groups of identical atoms can this be broken into? Since there are three atoms per molecule, we can break one small group of water molecules into three small groups of identical atoms. And the same is true for larger molecules. If the molecules all contain 10 atoms, they could be broken into 10 groups. Did you get that? Let's go over it again just to be sure. So, we have a small group of water molecules. There are three atoms per molecule and we can break this small group of water molecules into three small groups of identical atoms. Let's have a look at how this is exactly the same for large groups. One large group breaks into three large groups of identical atoms. What if there were more groups to begin with? If you had five large groups of water molecules, they could be rearranged into 15 large groups of identical atoms. How big are these groups? Imagine an extremely large group of six trillion trillion water molecules. We call this a mole of water molecules where 6.02 by 10 to the 23 is a Vagadro's number. So one mole of water molecules can be rearranged into three moles of identical atoms. And five moles of water molecules can be rearranged into 15 moles of identical atoms. To finally convert moles to numbers of atoms we multiply by Vagadro's number. Here, big N is the total number of particles, atoms or whatever you're interested in. Little n is the number of moles, and Na is the Vagadro's number. You can write the formula in a triangle if this helps. So, with 15 moles of atoms, you multiply by 6.02 by 10 to the 23 to get 9.03 by 10 to the 24 atoms. So, here's the question we started with. How many atoms are in 5 moles of water? We take the 5 moles of molecules, and multiply by the number of atoms in each molecule, and multiply this by Vagadro's number. And get 9.03 by 10 to the 24 atoms in 5 mole of water. Now do you feel you can do some of these problems too? See you next time. Bye for now.